one specialty, 25005, mineralogy, crystallography, for the degree of the candidate of geological and mineralogical studies. According to the order of St. Petersburg State University from the 6th of December 2019, number 11, 8, 33 slash 1, me, Sidor Alek Yohannesovich, the chairman of the Department of Crystallography, was appointed the chairman of this dissertational council and also allow me to introduce my fellow board members, Zaitsev Anatoly Nikolaevich, Doctor of Geological and Mineralogical Studies, Professor of the Department of Mineralogic Mineralogy of Earth Science Institute, Katelnikov Elena Nikolaevna, to the right, Doctor of Mineralogical Studies, the Professor of the Department of Crystallography of the Earth Science Institute, Astrid Holtz-Heidt, Doctor of Sciences, the Professor of the Institute of Geological Studies, the Professor of Kiel University, of Professor Albrecht, Germany, and in the remote mode, we have Zvereva Valentina Pavlovna, Doctor of Mineralogical Studies, Chief Scientific Worker from the Far Eastern Department of the Russian Academy of Sciences. First of all, I would like to emphasize that according to the federal law from the 23rd of August 1996, number 127, federal law on science and scientific and technical policy, St. Petersburg State University has the right to independently award academic degrees. The corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University on the basis of which we conduct our meeting of the Council was issued on the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1. Here and after the order. In accordance with this order, the meeting of the Dissertation Council is considered eligible if at least two-thirds of the approved membership of the Dissertation Council takes part in its work, but not less than four persons. Our dissertation council consists of five members today. All of them are present, including those members who work via Skype in the interactive mode. Audiovisual contact is provided with the, him. Thus, we have a quorum. The procedure of today's meeting of the dissertation board with a total duration of no more than two hours is the following. The chairman's summary report on the main contact of the documents submitted by the candidate and their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions, five minutes. Brief report of the candidate for the degree reflecting the main points of his research, 15 minutes. Questions to the candidate strictly according to his report, no more than two minutes for one questions, report responses of the candidate. The Speeches of all members of the thesis council by turns with reviews, with the statements of their positions, no more than 10 minutes for the speaking. The answers of the candidate for the degree to the questions and remarks of the members of the dissertational council, no more than 15 minutes. Open discussion. At the same time, all interested persons are requested to register in the registration sheet. It is placed on the first desk in this hall. Final answers of the applicant for the questions asked, no more than five minutes. The speech of the scientific supervisor, no more than three minutes. A five minute break before an open vote in order to make a conclusion on the issue of awarding or not awarding the academic degree of St. Petersburg State University to the candidate. For the time of the discussion, the defense results by the members of the thesis council, the broadcast is turned off. An open individual voting counting of votes by the chairman of the dissertational council with entering the results in the minutes of the meeting. Decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree, the final word of the applicant before switching to the realization of the meeting's rules of the procedure, I remind you to switch off your mobile phones. I also inform you that an audio and video recording of our meeting is being conducted as well as live broadcast of, on the website of St. Petersburg State University and simultaneous interpretation of speeches from Russian into English or from English into Russian is also provided.
проводит. The dissertation of Yakovenka Oksana Sergeyevna for the degree of the candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences on the topic thermodynamic and physical chemical conditions of the formation of naturally occurring nickel and cobalt selenides was accepted for the defense by the order of scientific secretary number 11808-1 from the 5th of December 2018. Our dissertation council was uh, founded by the scientific secretary number 11833-1 and I have also presented it to you, dear colleagues. The candidates submitted the following documents to the scientific secretary, an application form addressed to the rector of St. Petersburg State University, the report of scientific supervisor, a list of publications containing 14 works, including five articles in the peer-reviewed international scientific basis. This certificate proves your passing of the candidate exams. The diploma from the 30th of June, which was issued by St. Petersburg State University, and the thesis is done in Russian and English, both in paper-based version as a manuscript and in the electronic form the thesis is designed in accordance with the requirements of national state standard. It should be noted that all listed documents comply with paragraph 12 of section 3, presentations and defense of dissertations. Aksana Sergeyevna, please, your brief report, 15 minutes. Thank you very much, dear members of the board. Uh, dear members of the Dissertation Council, dear colleagues and guests, please find yourself attached to the work on the topic of thermodynamics and physical and chemical conditions for the formations of natural selenides of nickel and cobalt. Interest in selenium is associated with I its important biological role and it depends on the form of its locations. This slide shows chemically schematically the selenium cycle from which it can be seen that the most migratorily mobile forms are selenides and selenates. To date, 34 such minerals are known. They are clearly divided into two groups, water-free selenides with additional anions, which are products of volcanic sublimates, the second, selenium minerals, which are formed with the active participation of aqueous solutions in the surface conditions during the oxidations of selenides or selenium-containing sulfides. <clears throat> These minerals are the objects of our research. The purpose of our research is to establish the physical chemical parameters of the formations of natural selenides and selenates under exogenous conditions as well as experimental determination of the thermodynamic functions of formation, solubility and thermal stability of cobalt and nickel selenities. Since the synthesis of analogous of natural selenides of cobalt and nickel and experimental determinations of their thermodynamic characteristics, synthesis and experimental study of the properties of the members of the isomorphic series of the alphaldehyde, cobalt aminide. Uh, different methods were used in our work a program workbench was used, synthesis from aqueous solution of alphaldehyde and cobalt aminite analogous were used. And as for the object of our research, uh, for the zones of oxidation of the ore deposits with selenium containing mineralizations. The species forming cations, ferrum, cuprum, plumbum, cobalt, nickel, are most characteristic. And thermodynamic data necessary for modeling is for five. They are in bold. 
in this slide. This determines the choice of objects for our study. For the listed minerals, the stability fields were calculated, and for two of them, alphaldite and cobaltaminite, laboratory analogues were synthesized, and their properties were experimentally studied. The synthesis technique is presented on this slide. The obtained substances are small columnar crystals of pink violet, cobalt selenite, and green nickel selenite colors. Identification of synthetic solid phases was carried out using X ray phase analysis and IR spectro spectroscopy. Thus, having obtained and identified the synthetized material, we were able to proceed to the experimental determination of thermodynamic constants. Typically, such a determination is made using either calorimetric methods, measurements, or from data on solubility. Uh, colorimetric measurements, including uh, the management of thermal effects of this solution, the calculation based on them of the enthalpy of formations, the measurement of the heat capacity at different temperatures, the calculation of the entropy, and then on the basis of the entire set of data, the calculation of the Gibbs free energy of formation of a substance. The enthalpies of formation were determined by this solution of isothermal calorimetry using aqueous solution of H2SO4 as a solvent. And the standard formation enthalpy was calculated. The low temperature heat capacity of was determined using an adiabatic calorimeter. Then The resulting dependence of the heat capacity on temperature is then used to extrapolate to absolute zero and then calculate the standard entropy. The obtained values of all standard thermodynamic functions are presented in the table. The remaining thermodynamic functions are determined by us for the first time. Another way to determine the thermodynamic parameters of substances is the calculation based on the solubility data. In this case, first an experiment is carried out on the saturation of solutions. Then the concentrations are determined on the basis of the data obtained. The activities of individual forms of chemical elements in the solution are calculated and then the solubility product of the Gibbs free energy of substance formation. The solubility was determined by isothermal saturation for 30 days at a temperature of 25 degrees. The concentrations of cobalt, nickel, and selenium in saturation solu saturated solutions were determined using the ICP-MS method. These concentrations were used to calculate the activities of various particles in the solution and ultimately to calculate the reaction constants and on the basis of them the delta G formation. It can be seen that the values of thermodynamic functions obtained by two different dependent methods are in very good agreement with each other. It is important to note that these functions for nickel and cobalt are much closer to each other. Uh, and hence, the physical chemical parameters of the formation of these two minerals will be very similar. The complex thermal analysis is a new direction in our study. We determined the areas of thermal stability of alphaldite and cobaltaminite and found that their dehydration occurs through the formation of intermediate 
phases and differently in the case of nickel and cobalt. In the case of cobalt selenide, the two-step character of dehydration is seen very clearly, and in the case of nickel selenide, it was necessary to resort to separation of peaks. Thus, the first provision for the defense, an experimental study of the synthesized analogous of alpha diet and cobalt aminide allowed us to determine at the modern instrument, instrumental level thermodynamic functions of their formations to establish areas of thermal stability. It is known that in under natural conditions, alpha diete and cobalt aminide form a continuous azomorphic series. We have synthesized mixed selenides of nickel and cobalt in a wide range of compositions. The slide shows the nickel cobalt ratios in the initial solutions and in the solid phases. It can be seen that the solid solutions are richer in cobalt than the solution from which the synthesis is performed. The small pink crystals of various shades. It is interesting to note that even crystals with the maximum nickel content synthesized from solutions with the ratio of nickel cobalt 93. Seven ha have a pinkish beige color rather than a green one. The next slide presents the results of studying the solubility of these solid phases in water. It can be seen that white cobalt predominates in solid phases. There is an approximate equality of the mole fractions in liquid and solid solutions, and the nickel goes into solution less readily. Since the thermal analysis of synthesis analogous of cobalt aminite and alphildite found a significant difference in their behavior when heated, the study of intermediate members of the isomorphic series is of particular interest. According to the results, the process of dehydration for all members of the series takes place in two stages. Moreover, the nature of dehydration varies with different ratios of cobalt and nickel. Uh, this picture shows the dependencies of the unit cells parameters on the compositions on solid solutions. Our data are plotted and the only point we found in the literature, as can be seen from the figure, then are in good agreement with each other and show a noticeable deviation from the linear dependence. To interpret the obtained laws, additional studies are required. Thus, the work carried out has allowed us to formulate the following provision. An experimental study of solid solutions confirmed the existence of an isomorphic series of alpha diet cobalt aminide, but revealed in this theory as a change in the dependence of solubility, temperature, and nature of dehydration of on the composition of mixed selenides, which nickel ions predominating in them. The experimentally found thermodynamic <coughs> parameters of, of alpha diet and cobalt amidite were used to calculate uh, the diagrams presented on the slide. Similar diagrams were also calculated for copper, lead, for copper, lead, and iron. Uh, Physical and chemical conditions for the formation of the following minerals can be seen here. Calcaminite is weak, molybdenite and mandrenite, they are being formed in the acid environment. An interesting question is about the a possibility of the formation of selenates under natural conditions. We found the corresponding thermodynamic data for cobalt, cuprum, plumbum, ferrum, and nickel selenates calculated EHPH diagrams in a wide range of component acti activities and found their values corresponding to the appearance of the corresponding fields in the diagrams of all the systems considered, only the plumbum, selenium, H2O, and cuprum, selenium, H2O system 
the formation of selenates occurs at more or less real values of the activities of metals and selenium in solution. For lead, this is plumbum 10 minus 3. For copper, cuprum is equal 10 minus 1, respectively. <coughs> and Third provision for the defense. The calculations of the HPH diagrams in the metal selenium H2O system, met, uh, metal is equal cobalt, nickel, ferrum, cuprum, plumbum, allowed us to establish the physical chemical parameters of the formation of the cobaltaminite, alphaldite, mandranoite, calcominite, and molybdenite minerals. The main results of our research, uh, synthetic analogous all alphabets and cobaltaminite were obtained, identification of the synthesized samples using chemical X-ray phase analysis and IR spectroscopy confirmed that the synthesized phases in compositions and structure correspond to the listed minerals and therefore can be used for experimental determination and clarify their thermodynamic characteristics. <coughs> the main results of the work are reflected in 14 articles. Thank you very much for your attention. Oksana Sergeyevna, uh, thank you very much. And now let's uh, turn to the questions from the members of the Dissertational Council. Valentina Palovna, uh, let us start with you. The third slide shows, and it is written those. It's a climatic uh, factor affects greatly temperature, water. What are the factors play uh, the crucial role? There is a poor voice in the microphone. Oksana Sergeyevna, have you heard the questions? What are the factors can influence the factors of, of formation of hypergenesis, apart from water temperatures and seasonal fluctuations of temperatures of water solutions, of high importance is the concentrations of elements in the hypergenesis zone, as well as what conditions uh, have been created in this or that deposit. And as for structural and textual properties of minerals, can they be referred to these facts? They can influence, but it is not the main factor. And what is this second component apart from water, which plays a crucial role in hypogenesis, what is the second component, apart from water, plays a crucial role in hypogenesis? You know that water induces hydrolysis reactions, and there is another re reaction which is very important uh, in processes of heterogenesis. Oxygen is very important here. Thank you. Hydrolysis with water and what oxidation reaction with oxygen. Uh, slide 23, you have got page uh, diagram, the reaction of cobalt. <coughs> Why uh, are these diagrams different? Why do they look like differently? The matter is that the number of thermodynamical data influences the composition of these two diagrams. 
And as for alphaldite and cobalt aminite, we use different components, and thus the data from these diagrams are different. And uh, slide 25. Uh, the uh, fields of sustainability of cobalt and why is the formation in natural condition is unlikely for cobalt and nickel. We uh, conducted measurements and we constructed diagrams for cobalt and nickel for six cris Six water crystal hydrate, they are solvable uh, series, and we managed to obtain diagrams in high figures of e high measurements of activity, and they are not real for the deposits of hyperogenesis because they are solvable. And seasonal activity plays a great role here. And uh, the last, which methods is crucial for the formations, color, colorometry or solubility? Have you heard the question? As for, uh, please repeat your question. Colorimetry or solubility is most suitable for formations. It's very difficult to judge uh, which method is more preferable because they have their own advantages and disadvantages. As for colorimetric method, it requires uh, complicated appli appliances. It is pain painstaking, but solubility here is quicker. But if we conduct such experiments concerning color colorimetry, we obtain many uh, functions. Thank you very much, Valentina Pauna. Thank you very much. The next question. Anatoly Nikolaevich, I have got several questions. Uh, the, uh, as for the third provision for the defense, uh, the formation of selenite in natural conditions is unlikely, but they do formate, they do appear, and it is a fact. They have not been studied very well, these processes. We know only two. Uh, that's why uh, the word unlikely can't be use, used here, because it is a fact. And uh, the second technical uh, question, uh, your study is successful in terms of experiments and techniques. Uh, there is a reference, some reference in your report. Do you have in your uh, collections your own sample, your own spe specimen, uh, which will allow us to understand how they look like, touch them. Thank you very much for the questions. We had natural samples, but they were poor. But you could use electronic microscope to look at this sample, to study this sample. They uh, usually we face with such samples uh, only sometimes they uh, can hardly be seen, clearly seen. It's only a remark, and that's all for now. Astrid, please, your question. For your presentation, you mentioned the intermediate phases of nickel and cobalt selenides. And you also say that's a complete solid solution, but that the unit cell parameters do not change in a linear way. There's some kind of a variation. Could you please explain in a little bit more detail why it's not a linear dependence? And also, 
if you expect some differences regarding the thermodynamic data in a linear way or also in a nonlinear way. На самом деле вопрос про отклонение от линейной зависимости на вашем графике. Оксана, микрофон. Вопрос связан с тем, что почему отходит от линейной зависимости, да? Ну, как можно видеть, кружочки черненькие – это наши данные. Вот этот единственный беленький кружочек – это э, литературные данные из работы, из, ну, из работы нашего коллеги. И они хорошо попадают именно в наши расчетные, в наши расчетные материалы. If we return to the previous slides, we can see complex and thermal analysis, and we can see then in the range from 0.4 to 0.8, we can see a transition. In this very place, our 0.4, our 0.4, the, these parameters start to deviate, and thus we constructed our dependence in such a way. And as for this structure uh, below in the right, so you uh, show this structure. It uh, was, can be seen from uh, literature data. And in order to interpret this data, we should address the structure. One more question because my colleague. Есть ли э, природные материалы в растворимых, э, в растворах и какие-то образцы? Оксана? Там. Природные есть образцы, вот эти с твердых растворов, минералы? Uh, can we meet such minerals in the nature? Uh, are there any information about them in the literature sources? Only, only uh, finite members we can meet, and they were studied uh, from synthetic analog analogs. Any more questions? Okay, thank you, Astrid. Elena Nikolaevna, please. Tatiana Nikolaevna, your question. Tatiana Sergeyevna, please tell us. How many selenites, natural selenites, uh, you know, including your own samples? As for selenites, 31 selenite, 31 selenite. All in all, uh, there are 34, uh, including selenates. Uh, you mentioned five uh, selenites. I mean, uh, we know thermodynamical data for them. That's why five. Uh, but uh, for a larger number of selenites, selenites, we have not got any information. And all in all, how many of selenites? 31 selenites we have got. And it's a widespread field for further study. And the second question, the hydrated forms of selenites in the form of minerals, uh, copper, ferrum, or zinc, uh, were they described as minerals which were partially dehydrated? Only oxidation materials were described. Synthetic materials, we used them as synthetic materials because there are no variants. As for linear on non-linear dependence, I'm not going to focus on this amorphous phases. Did you take it 
amorphous empathy. Uh, did you take it into account? We did not take it into account this stage. Yelena Nikolayn and several questions, my own questions. This selenites, uh, where can we uh, meet them in Russia? In the southern Urals, uh, southern Urals is rich in these selenites, but I'm not sure what exact minerals can we meet there. And where did you take uh, natural samples of these selenites? I took them from uh, German deposits. And how did you determine the uh, two water molecules in dehydrates? We calculated it according to the formula on the basis of mass loss. One third of water molecule is being lost by the method of thermal analysis. Please show us slide 18. You mentioned that some p uh, part of cobalt was le left in the solution. This slide shows uh, the properties of nickel. It dominates, nickel dominates. Part of cobalt is crystallized and part of it is left in the solution. It uh, was referred to the experiments cons concerning solubility when we conducted experiments on the uh, solid body when it was being solved in the solution. There were equal transitions from the solid to liquid phase. And uh, when isomorphic series referred to selenium, and it was reluctant to transit to solution. And alphildite analogous, uh, did you obtain them for the first time, or they had been known before? Of course, they had been known before. And now, according to our agenda, we should read out our external reviews, but uh, external re reviews were not submitted. And now the reviews from the members of the members of dissertation uh, council. And please answer the reports directly after it, please. Who wants to start? Let's uh, preserve the same order. Elena Palovna, uh, only main remarks, please. Uh, and uh, according to the main trend to preserve the natural habit habitat, the problems of mineralogy are very important and they are connected with technogenous uh, transitions of the earth crust. One of the instruments of the creation of the concept of technogenesis is uh, the modeling which allows us to uh, determine the uh, numerical parameters of minerals and uh, Ms. Yekavenka uh, clearly studied these events. The tasks and objects were clearly formulated in the works. The main results are original. That's why scientific novelty is without doubt. Can you hear me well? A practical significance is the updating of database of thermodynamical modeling. The thesis characterizes physical and chemical parameters of the formation of the fol following minerals, alphildite, polytominite, 
there is poor voice in the microphone, sorry. Apart from them, calculations uh, led to an interesting conclusion concerning the conditions of formation of these minerals, and it explains the rarity of the calculation part of this study is also successful. The main conclusion of the research, there is poor voice in the microphone, in the work on the example of selenites and cobaltomenites, we can see all the necessary facts with unnecessary for the obtaining. The synthesis of the analogous was conducting identification of the composition, the determination of the thermodynamical characteristics. And as uh, apart from the advantages of the dissertation, there is a diversity of various methods, and the results of the research are without doubt, and they were proved by thermodynamical parameters, and they were obtained by two independent, independent methods, and five articles were published in peer-reviewed articles, such as Web of Science. And also our candidate participated in many international conferences, but there are some questions and remarks concerning this thesis. The fifth chapter of the thesis is devoted to the synthesis and study of the thermal properties of the members of the isomorphic series of alphyldiides cobaltaminite. However, as far as can be understood from the text, the thermodynamic functions of their formations were not determined. How can thermodynamic modeling can be carried out in this case? This second remark, thermodynamic functions of the formations are found for standard conditions, 25 degrees, and pressure one atmosphere. How correct is the use of this data to, for the modeling of the processes of mineral formation with seasonal temperature changes, in particular under negative temperatures? The thought, how ne necessary in the literature review was paragraph 1.1, selenium in indigenous deposits, not which is not directly related to the topic of the research, and it is written mainly on the works, in the works of the last century. Uh, I would like uh, to highlight that the full content of the work There are also small uh, remarks. Uh, on page five, one should write enrichment tales and do not just tales. When the table is transferred to the next page, it is necessary to make a tabular heading, initials and surnames, as well as the units of measurements around the numerical values must be on the same page without any breaks. These remarks do, don't accumulate the overall impression from the work of Oksana Sergeyevna. Uh, it is a qualified work in the sphere of uh, thermodynamical modeling. The thesis of Yakovenka Oksana Sergeyevna on the topic thermodynamics and 
Physica chemical Valentina Palovna, there is a poor connection. Please repeat uh, the last uh, several sentences. The thesis of Yakovenko Oksana Sergeyevna on the topic thermodynamics and physical chemical conditions of the formation of naturally occurring nickel and cobalt selenides uh, from the order from the 6th of December 19, number. 1183.3.1. Our candidate, Oksana Sergeyevna, deserves the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences on specialty 250005, mineralogy, crystallography, point 11 of the procedure was not violated by the candidate. Thank you very much for your attention. Valentina Palovna, thank you very much. Oksana Sergeyevna, your answers to the questions and remarks. Thank you very much for your review. Uh, we would like to answer questions. The first and for quantitative modeling in systems with solid solutions, some kind of thermodynamic model is usually used to describe the solid phase of variable composition, for example, the model of ideal or regular solid solutions. Uh, this was not our task, but in the future we can try to do it. And as for the second question, are we going to use negative temperatures? Uh, in our work, we built all the charts at a standard temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. This is a common practice for ceases in imbined em conditions. Seasonal temperature changes do not exceed several trends of degrees. And for, and for such poorly soluble compounds, we change in solubility product uh, will not be too large. In our work, we did not set ourselves the task of calculations at negative temperatures, but in the future, we can try to do this. Anatoly Nikolaevich, please, uh, your review. I am not going to read it out in uh, detail. Uh, I would like to ask one question, two questions. Uh, I uh, got these questions after your report and after I have read your dissertation. Chats in EHPH concerning the uh, formation of uh, uh, such minerals. And uh, uh, could you please give an example of a specific field where a certain mineral association is observed? and its formation can be explained by specific changes in EHPH of the mineral forming mineral and practical uh, significances, associations, and so on. It is a very important question. And then I'm going to uh, focus on the advantages of your studies. Thank you very much for your review and your questions. Uh, where can we expect the appearance of the minerals of selenium in uh, positive accidental, ra accidental rates? Uh, please look at this slide. In particular, mineral alphaldite and cobalt ammonites, we can see that they're being, being formed in natural, uh, n neutral environments. These diagrams show uh, a, a bigger area. We can uh, observe molybdenite and more acid environments. We can observe mandarinite. Thus, we can clearly see the trend of transition from neutral to acid environment. And uh, do have real published data uh, concerning solid uh, base? Uh, well, uh, we can't see any. 
studies which were conducted before. Thank you very much for your uh, answer. Uh, you have got a very interesting and experimental study you have conducted and uh, and some uh, supplements, theoretical calculations, it is a hard work and you have obtained great and successful results. The uh, dissertation of Yakovenko Oksana Sergeyevna on the topic thermodynamics and physical chemical conditions of the formation of natural nickel and cobalt sel selenides complies with the requirements uh, of the order and uh, the candidate Yekavenka Oksana Sergeyevna deserves the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences on specialty 25005, mineralogy crystallography. Thank you very much, Anatoly Nikolaevich. Astrid, please. Astrid, please. So, do you understand? Okay, well, at first I would like to thank you all and St. Petersburg State University that I got selected as external member of the committee. It's really an honor to be the member of the examination board. Well, in your thesis, you studied with great detail, really great detail, the thermodynamic properties of synthetic samples of natural occurring nickel selenide and also cobalt selenide, and you prepared synthetic samples by yourself and characterized them by XRD, infrared spectroscopy, SEM, and electron microprobe. You derived thermodynamic data by studying the enthalpy of formation and also the heat capacity, but also the solubility you investigated, and you also studied the thermal analysis, you did thermal analysis, so you were able to build up a new and precise data bed about the two minerals you studied, about the end members. I was already mentioning in the beginning that, in the first part, that you also studied these solid solutions, so you compared not only the solid solutions, but also the end members regarding their thermodynamic data with literature data, and you found differences as well as similarities. And maybe at first now, you could explain a little bit in more detail why are there these differences regarding the literature data and your synthetic samples, where there's some differences regarding the chemical compositions because they are solid solutions, or what are your thoughts? Thank you very much for your question. If I have uh, understood you correctly, uh, the question was uh, uh, concerned to the pre-surface layer of the minerals. And yet, like the differences in the thermodynamic data, you have some literature data and you gained thermodynamic data, and you found they are different. And they are also some are similar, some are different. So please explain the differences. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have got uh, the data. We obtained uh, them from literature sources, and also we conducted our own research in order to obtain this um, data using two different ways, with the help of calorimetric uh, measurements and solubility. Uh, there, is there any difference between your own results and literature data? Of course, I will show you the slide. Uh, 
it is connected with the fact that the authors, these are our data and literature data, especially for alpha diet, they are different. It is connected with the fact that uh, the researchers of previous years, they studied not phases, phase transitions. They were focused on the sel selenium and nickel cobalt from the solutions from f on obtaining them. And the data they uh, uh, present as the energy of the formation of cobalt, minite, and alphaldite, we can't consider them correct. Why? They did not determine the solid phase. The diagnostics of this matter was not true, was not correct, uh, because uh, they had different tasks. They simply did not conduct these experiments. OK, well, thank you very much. I have another one. And you also to shed light on the differences regarding the conditions, the formation conditions. You computed the EHPH diagrams and you compared those diagrams for the nickel and for the cobalt selenites, or you started with the um, cobalt nickel selenium water system, and you also later on compared with copper, lead, and iron. Why did you choose? copper, lead, and iron. There could be like zinc, for example, as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To uh, form thermodynamic models, uh, it is necessary to obtain data, but we had data for those minerals. Why uh, you, did you use transition metals? Why did you take uh, plumbum? You know, you could use zinc, uh, and it is the question of Astrid. Uh, we used the model of uh, ore deposits with these cations. You have got uh, three uh, deposits. The most famous uh, deposit is El Dragon, the first one in Bolivia. And the minerals of these metals of nickel, cobalt, and uh, copper dominate there. Okay, thank you. Oh, super. Uh, well, just maybe okay. to conclude yeah, yeah. that in, as a summary, you studied the thermodynamics and physical chemical conditions of the formation of these selenites and you compared the findings and you found actually that it's not the selenites, it's the selenates which are most likely formed. But in general, I think your thesis, which consisted of an introduction chapter, six main chapters and they are all really nicely well thought and they are combined, so they are some kind of a coordinated order. And the final chapter also concludes what you found, the summary. So the scientific outcome is really new and you also saw this in all the scientific publications you have. So it's really beyond doubt that your thesis work is a solid piece of work and that you really should get awarded by the candidates of science. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Astrid. Okay. Uh, Elena Nikolaevna, please. Uh, Elena Nikolaevna, uh, I would like to read out some uh, remarks. And uh, our candidates uh, used the right approaches to, uh, in studying of the formations of um, the formation, solubility, and thermal resistance of cobalt and nickel selenides. Uh, there are some uh, uh, two big uh, chapters. They are based on the analysis of uh, analysis of modern literature, and they contain some inaccuracies. And as for the topicality of 
uh, the research. I would like to draw your attention that uh, Oksana Sergeyevna uses synthetic analogous for uh, the uh, diagrams, and it is necessary for pure isomorphic inclusions and reliable thermodynamic constants. The methods are uh, detailed, but uh, I don't understand why you repeat them uh, before every chapter. Then ex two experimental uh, chapters. The fourth chapter is a key chapter for the whole works. Experimental data is used there. Here, uh, it's very boring to read uh, these four chapters, but it is very s s nice that the calculations of our author are quite logical, and thus we rely on these calculations. And one remark. Some associations, minerals are being described, but there are no formulas. The fifth chapter is interesting. It complies with the requirements of scientific novelty, and it was surprising for me that Oksana Sergeyevna forgot to mention that natural uh, samples uh, had been studied before, but uh, mainly the members of this series, and only one sample was isomorphic. And in this respect, the study is quite new. Intermediary compositions were studied, and it's my main remark. It is the following. It is surprising. The solid phases legs in nickel. Oksana Sergeyevna is an explanation of uh, chose the explanation of Martins for closed system of mixed systems where cobalt uh, ions took the position M2 and nickel ions took the position M1. And they contradict with the results of the purification of study of this system. X-ray method, close physical and chemical characteristics. They go close together. And the results of the system composition was prognosed and constant solubility, and it is connected with constant mixture properties. And it was proved this mixability and uh, crystal solid structure. And if we are talking about different cations, it is possible, and here we should say about different crystal structure, mixed crystals, and uh, there is some contradiction. And uh, up to this moment, the matter is the deviation is positive. It is a fact in a solid solution, but the rate of this uh, deviation is very high. It can be connected with amorphous uh, phase or some other explanation can exist. The facts are uh, interesting. They are true. Uh, chapter 6 is very interesting and useful. And it reminded me uh, the 
title of the thesis and uh, all the provisions are suitable, but they resemble conclusions. I uh, was impressed by this study and the concluding part. The thesis of Yakovenko Oksana Sergeyevna on the topic thermodynamics and physical chemical conditions of the formation of naturally occurring nickel and cobalt selenides conforms with the requirements of the order from 0109-2016 on awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University and our candidate dissolves the degree of the candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences on specialty 250005 mineralogy, crystallography and point 11 was not violated by mm -hmm. our candidate Yelena Nikolaevna, thank you very much for your review. I agree with your remarks. Uh, Mattison's article you refer to, we were greatly involved in his idea, and we please repeat your answer. Thank you very much for your review. I agree with your remarks, especially cons uh, we refer to Mattison's article and there are some contradictions in our conclusions and I agree that we were too hurry to make these conclusions. Thank you very much. And now my own review. I'm not going to repeat that I liked and was greatly impressed by this study and uh, there is uh, a sustainable reference uh, list. The work includes five articles in uh, Russian and uh, international peer-reviewed journals and uh, the study has scientific novelty apart Uh, there is no data concerning uh, thermodynamics of these phases in the articles. And uh, my questions. To confirm the purity of some of the obtained samples of synthetic analogous of minerals, uh, you uh, used X-ray diffraction methods. It is not clear whether the refinement was done by quantifying the presence of impurities by the Ritzfeld method. We did not use Ritzfeld methods. The second question, all the reviews are placed at, uh, at uh, St. Petersburg State University website. And the second question uh, concerns the deviation of the unit cell parameters from the Weggert rule. And another question, figure 5.2 shows the crystal morphology of some solid solutions. Does the morphology of crystals change with the change in the ratio of nickel cobalt? What is the morphology of the crystals of the extreme members of this series? We, the morphology of crystals with the change in the ratio of nickel and cobalt is practically unchanged. And what is the difference between alpha and beta forms? mentioned by the author uh, by you on page 98 uh, these two forms uh, uh, are different uh, only in the values of the parameters of the unit self why do you call them alpha and beta forms uh, our colleagues were the first to do it and in our case it referred to complex thermal analysis when we can see the effect. Uh, we have got one mass, mass loss and at the same time two effects and we assume that, that is, there is a transition and we call them alpha and beta transition. We could not uh, conduct the analysis of this intermediary form because it's uh, this its form. These are only our assumptions. And uh, then 
uh, I'm a second representative of the Department of Crystallography in the, com in the board. The crystalline structure of nickelix cobalt, 1 minus X, and uh, on H2O molecule allow the occurrence of a significant vacancy. Your question is about about one aqueous selenides. We used only two aqueous selenides. And one more question concerning the methodology and interpretation of the results. What is the practical advice? Uh, can be can you give us for the about a mobilization of selenium as a toxic ele element. What are the solutions to prevent the migration of selenium? Is there a difference in the toxicity of solutions containing serum uh, O4 or serum uh, O3 and 9? What of the considered transition and heavy metals will primarily contribute to the deposition of selenium containing insoluble precipitates? And uh, as for exudation environment, uh, this uh, they should be acidic. And now, as for the formal moment, the thesis of Yakovenko Oksana Sergeyevna on the uh, topic thermodynamics and physical chemical conditions of the formation of naturally occurring nickel and cobalt selenides on specialty 25005 mineralogy crystallography. Uh, our candidate deserves the degree of the candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences. Point 11 of the order was not violated by the candidate. Thank you very much. Our candidate and please, the questions from the hall, from non-board members. But remember that you should register in a special form. Please, any comment? Now, uh, Marina Valentinovna, scientific supervisor. Your review. Can we use this microphone? There is no voice in the microphone, unfortunately. Valentina Paulna, good afternoon. I would like to say that my official review is attached to uh, the documents concerning the defense of this thesis. I would like to highlight three moments briefly. In my opinion, the study of Oksana Sergeyevna is a highly uh, qualified uh, work. It conforms with the requirements of the candidate dissertations. Oksana Sergeyevna managed to cover the high spectrum of in instrumental and thermodynamical dynamical calculations methods. There is a specific scientific novelty. New results were obtained, some of them su such as thermodynamical properties of metals and uh, what is connected with uh, solid solutions. Uh, our candidates obtained uh, successful results, and we can't know the reason uh, for that, and it's very actual for further studies. And here, an in-depth analysis of crystal chemistry as spectroscopic methods are necessary. And it was not the task of this study and the third moment 
I would like to focus on Uh, there were some circumstances uh, which allowed our candidate to defend this thesis two years ago. The thesis was ready in 2016, but circumstances did not allow uh, to do it before. And uh, 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 some changes in the procedures of the defenses uh, affected that and it impeded the defending process. Uh, from my point of view, this study conforms with the requirements of the specialty and Oksana deserves the degree. And now the uh, five-minute break, discussion by members of the Council of the issues of avoiding a scientific degree. I ask you to turn off the sound during the broadcast of the meeting. Guests and colleagues who are not members of the Dissertation Council, I ask you to leave the hall.
Итак, коллеги, наше заседание продолжается. Прошу включить звуковое сопровождение трансляции заседания. Увидится, что она работает. Sounds of the meeting's broadcast. To make sure that it is working, the conclusive minutes of the dissertation council's meeting are coming. I raise the question of awarding an academic degree to an open roll call. I remind you the, the decision of the dissertation council on the issue of the awarding the degree is considered positive if more than half of it voted for, but not less than three members of the dissertation council who participated in the meeting in accordance with Paragraph 23 of the procedure for avoiding academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University. I agree. I agree, Valentina Palna. Your opinion? I agree. Astrid? And, uh, I also completely agree. I agree. Um, uh, five members uh, from our dissertational board are for. What it against? We have not got them and we ha had not got abstained members. Decision on awarding the academic degree of the candidate of uh, geological and mineralogical sciences, sciences on specialty 25005 uh, is accepted. Oksana Sergeyevna, our congratulations. Your concluding words, your final words. Uh, dear members of the Dissertational Council, thank you very much. My scientific uh, supervisor, I would like to express my gratitude for your patience and attention. My uh, parents and friends, thank you very much. Oksana, thank you very much. Our congratulations. Uh, please switch off the live broadcast.